Hi, my name is Pete Bussell Holland. I'm 51 years old and I come from Bedfordshire. I suppose my earliest experience of climbing would be in the Cub Scouts. As an adult, uh, then I used to do a lot of hill walking in Scotland and Wales, and I kind of thought I'd like to get back into the climbing that I used to do as a kid. And so I started to investigate it more, took a few refresher lessons, and then I've been climbing ever since. The facilities here, as you can see, are really excellent. They're, they're top notch. I've climbed in a lot of indoor centers around the area. Uh, this particular center has everything I need from the bouldering facilities to the lead climbing facilities, as well as the top roping. What do I enjoy about climbing the most? I think it's a very many layered thing, climbing, because uh, this climbing for the enjoyment of getting outside in the countryside uh, to find new environments you've never been to and actually getting more involved with them hands-on. But also it's one of those things that you can do whatever age you are. It doesn't matter what age you are, you can always do climbing to a certain degree. And it's just a great challenge. I find climbing affects and changes my life in a very positive way. It allows me to get out into the countryside and to stay fit and healthy, which is obviously the mainstay of what we're all told to be more active these days. It certainly has helped me to continue and to maintain being active. It's really easy to access the sports village in the wild climbing. If you go to reception, book in, you'll get an instructor that'll need to run you through the initial instruction to use the, the wall and equipment, uh, and then off you go. The great thing about coming to an indoor climbing centre like this is you're not weather dependent. You know, outside, obviously you are weather dependent. Here you can literally climb you know, as long as the centre is open 365 days of the year. The centre facilitates for three main types of climbing. Bouldering, where you don't use ropes, then you have the, your top roping, where you're working with a partner on the top ropes, and you have uh, your lead climbing, which is your precursor to going outside and doing traditional climbing on an actual rock face. It's not necessarily an expensive sport to start in. Uh, initially, you can just start with bouldering, which minimal equipment, just a chalk bag, uh, it's gonna cost you a tenner. Uh, then progressing from that, purchasing more equipment. Yes, it can start to become more expensive, but a normal, basic rig you could probably pick up for under a hundred pounds so it's not as expensive as some other sports you might choose to take up. Working with a partner is the key to climbing. If you're doing rope climbing you must communicate with your partner all the time so they know when to give you slack, when to take up the slack on the rope, when you're safe. Make sure that your communication is number one safety. Obviously climbing is fraught with danger, there's potential danger anytime you've come off of the floor even at a low height so the idea is you should take proper instruction before setting out in uh, the world of climbing and make sure all your equipment is checked double check check your ropes and make sure that you follow all the safety procedures that you are uh, taught by a competent and qualified instructor from day one.